Pete Moraga was a very special man. Uh, may he rest in peace. I think he, he was a, a, a very wise man. He was a very compassionate man, very intelligent man. And, and he taught me quite a bit. I think that most of the things that, that, I, have, um, that I have come to be in, in my career were because, because of short conversations or lines that he, that he would give me. Uh, first of all, he, he took me off the air as an anchor. That was one of the first things that he did because he realized that I, I didn't have any training as an anchor and they just threw me to the wolves. When they hired me, they told me, you have to do this and you have to do that. And that's why, be, like I said, being the perfectionist that I am, I said, I have to learn how to do this right. But I was very self-conscious. In fact, I was so nervous when I started. I had laryngitis for two weeks before I could even start talking because I was so, uh, so nervous about it. So he took me for, off the air for a little while and, um, and, and helped train me uh, and prepare me for that. And then eventually put me back with Eduardo Quesada, who was my, my co-anchor. And Jorge Berrich used to do sports. Mm -hmm. So we became a team and for 60 years, it was uh, Jorge Berry in sports, Pete Moraga doing commentary, Eduardo Quesada as an anchor, and I as the co-anchor. But yet I continued to do the reporting and I continued to do the, the public affairs program. Um, I remember that in the beginning, storytelling was not what I had been trained to do. So when I would go out and cover stories, of course, I thought everything that was said was important. So my stories were very long and it was very hard to, to cut them. So Pete Muraga helped me quite a bit. He would tell me, tell me what happened. What happened? What did they say in, in the press conference? And I would explain it to him. He says, just say it like that. Hmm. Don't try to make it fancy. Don't try to... Um, to tell too much, just think of you know the things that are important. And another thing he did is he took our Spanish language uh, teletype away. He said, you're not here to copy and paste. You're not here to just take a paragraph and write it. You need to interpret it. So he took out all the Spanish language uh, tele um, telecasts that we have or, or, or the sources of news that we had and said, you need to read them in English and you need to rewrite them uh, because that's what was happening a lot. You know, people were just ripping and, 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 and taping and, and writing what was, what was coming out in the press releases or, or in the teletype machines. And I think one of the um, most impactful lessons for me from Pete Moraga was a time when, you know, when I, I, I covered politics since the beginning. Even though I was a general assignment reporter, my main beat was politics, local politics. So we were 25% of the population, 25% of Hispanics at that time in Los Angeles. And there was no representation at the local level in city council and the board of education and the board of supervisors. And uh, there came a time when there was an election and there was a, a seat opened up and there were a couple of Latinos that were running for that office. So of course to us it was a major development and we went out to do story. I went out to do man on the street interviews. And I was very surprised to see that out of maybe 16 people that I interviewed, 15 of them weren't voting. And they weren't voting um, because they didn't know about the election, because they were not registered to vote, because they weren't qualified to vote, because they were not legal or whatever reason. And I went back to Pete Moraga and I said, I can't do this story. He said, why? And I said, because no one is voting from the people that I interviewed. He says, well, there's your story. People are not voting because they feel disenfranchised. They feel like they are not part of mainstream America. And that is a story. Well, that had such an impact on me that not only did it teach me more about journalism, but it taught me about what my role should be and would be in Spanish language media. Uh, I think at that moment, my mission became the political empowerment of the Latino community. I knew that I had to provide for them the information that they needed to get civically involved, um, to understand their rights, but also to understand their responsibilities and how important it was for them in this country that to some was their newly adopted country, to others they were born and raised there, but they still felt disenfranchised. And I think that's sort of what set the course for me early on. And Pete Moraga had a lot to do with that.